right. <laughs> pandemic, we had come up with a way to record music remotely using Ubuntu Studio as our production suite, Ardor as our recording DAW, and GitHub to share these full sessions and recordings with each other online through this sharing service. We started out testing this idea by creating loops, and each one of these loops were based on one song idea, but each loop was created in a different musical style that we would share with each other. So by the end of this whole session, testing loops and sharing them with each other and collaborating online, we had 14 different music loops that were all in completely different styles. So the first loop that we were trying out was called Slippery Friction. And the okay. first one is Slippery Friction, was just the name of it. Yeah, it's a name that Rob came up with. But we started expanding on that loop idea, and it eventually became a song. The going out scattered things from here and there. Then it... And while we were working on that song, we got a chance to put music in a Creative Commons film. And that's when we realized that these different themed loops that we had all in different music genres would be perfect for this film project. But the funny thing was, even though we had all of these loops to build off of, when I was telling Rob about this opportunity that we got, we started wondering what we could do to make a title track song. He began playing some of the original note progressions on guitar while we were talking about this, and it kind of started to turn into another song again. You were more of the noodling. Right? Yeah, so try doing some of the bump, bump, dump, ba dump, bump part, and then put that in there. Now that I had these random guitar and drum recordings, I went through each of the tracks and cut out what I liked and started rearranging them in Ardor. I took different snippets from different parts that I liked that he played throughout all of the guitar lines that he made. And on this line here, you'll see this is the main riff, and each one of them are just tiny little sections of different parts that he played, which I'm highlighting. So if I take one of these, where I have the main guitar line, and extend it, you'll see that this is all the other stuff that he had played. So he's just kind of trying things out. And then it goes into where the edited parts are. The first line became this. And I liked the rhythm of this, but it needed a little bit more. So I created a second guitar track underneath and found some more parts that I could cut up and place in between some of the empty sections that were there so that it kind of became more of a riff. So now when I play these two together, it goes like this. And we took the whole session of the guitar line and created this brand new guitar line that nobody had even played. But after a while, recording these guitars and just laying down different ideas to a click, I wanted to see what we could do for drums. So I turned off the guitar, kept the click running, and had Rob play drums just based on what he could remember that he had tried out. Rob had played drums for quite some time, trying out different rhythms, as you'll see by this track here that I have highlighted in red. That's his main drum track. And what I did is I took one little section of this drum line. I want to say that was part of the drum line that I used. And all I did was I selected that particular part and then duplicated it. And I moved it up to this section here and made a loop out of it on the top. And if I put those all together, this is what the song had become as far as guitar and drums. But after I was done, I realized that I had chopped together a guitar line and I didn't know if it could be played. So I showed the line to Cliff and Rob to see if that guitar part could actually be something they could do. 
guitars. So they tracked these new parts with bass and guitar. Now that I had these basic ideas recorded, I thought it was time to start working on a vocal melody. So I recorded some lyrics that I had written that I thought would work well with the film. I can't tell what got us here, it wasn't all that much. When it got cold, dark and gray, it always seemed a hush. But after these new guitar and vocal lines were recorded, the drum line that we still had seemed a little too stiff. So we decided to record a brand new drum part. Still trying to think of how the song would work with a movie, we decided we wanted to try and create a theatrical type change, something that would break it up a little bit. And we decided to test out some of these ideas during one of our live songwriting sessions that we stream on Twitch. When we were done, nothing really panned out. We hadn't really come up with anything and we had been doing it for like a half hour. And after we finished the session, we fired up Ardor again and actually just kept trying things until we found something we liked. We liked one idea that we came up with, but when we listened back to it, it was a little too busy and we got the idea to kind of break it down into hits and we just did that over and over again. Do something like that. Do something with a hi-hat. There you go. And we expanded on that just a little bit more and came up with kind of a snare marching sound. And then we were able to add those breaks before each one of the choruses. I actually did end up going back to the live stream that we did and I was playing a French horn part and this inspired different instruments that I wanted to use on top of it. Mimicking lines from the previous song using violin and sax. But now with these new parts, the tone of the song had changed and the vocal line that I had before was just too subdued. So I went back and redid the vocals. And then that's when I got the idea with these layered instruments I had been doing that I was gonna create a vocal harmony line to go along with it. I can't tell what got us here, it wasn't all that much. When it got cold, dark, and gray, it always seemed But we thought, while listening back, maybe since Brian had recorded saxophone on the previous song we released, that we could have him come back and replace the horns that I did on the synthesizer. So here now we had two new songs for this movie project that we were going to be doing. But how were we going to turn the rest of these loops into enough songs for a movie soundtrack? Mm -hmm. 